Hello guys, welcome back to the Brutal Investor channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. In this episode, we're going to talk about a project that is one of the four projects that will be listed on Coinbase pretty soon. And this project is called Tribe or the Tribe Token, right? Again, as always guys, I highly recommend you guys to do your own research on any of the projects that we cover on our channel. And for this project, I recommend you guys to go to the website fei.money. that is f e i dot money in order to learn more about this project right so right off the bat this is a really big surprise that uh, projects like uh, you know tribe uh, although they are not really that bad of a project they are still projects that uh, people would have not expected to have been listed by coinbase right but nonetheless tribe is going to get listed on coinbase i believe tomorrow and that's the announcement that we got today so again i'm going to use the paragraph that's provided in coin market cap just to give you give a brief overview of what this project is before we you know dive on their website to understand what this project does and what this token all is all about right so fei protocol will launch with a fully decentralized dao on day 1 the tribe token controls the dao tribe holders can vote on the following actions among others adding new bonding curves in new tokens or adjusting price functions of existing curves adjusting the allocation of pcv for new in, uh, new incoming funding or existing pcv so again there's a lot of terminology that's used and a lot of information that's covered even though this is a very small sentence so i'll try to break it down so tribe is a governance token of the fei protocol net uh, platform right so fei protocol is a platform of which tribe is one of the tokens that acts as the governance token right so basically it's a the fei protocol itself is a fully decentralized dao right from the day it was launched and tribe is the native Uh, you know a governance token that's used to govern the dao so if you are a tribe token holder then you have voting rights within the fei protocol ecosystem right so that's basically the main overview of what tribe is and also if you have tribe tokens as we discussed you can vote on the platform but you can specifically vote on some of these following functions that are basically adding new bonding curves in new tokens so again you can add um, you know you can basically have your say or have your voice in how the bonding co- curve needs to be added or not on whether uh, you know it needs to be added for certain tokens within the platform so that's an important uh, functionality that you'll access and also by adjusting price functions of existing curves so again not only can you um, you know Uh, have a say on whether a new bonding curve needs to be added you can also have a say on whether an existing bonding curve needs to be adjusted for a particular token right apart from that you can also uh, adjust the allocation of pcv for new incoming funding or existing pcv so again we'll discuss about what pcv pcv means in a couple of seconds so with that information out of the way let's go to their website to see what this platform is all about and what tribe does for this platform so again right off the bat i the stable coin for defi so that's their main motto and if you see they are basically aiming to create a platform that aims to be the stable coin the go to stable coin for the defi space right so if you see they have two tokens the fei token as well as the tribe token so the fei is a stable coin and the tribe is not non stable coin but it's a governance token right fei is a new kind of stable coin it is more capital efficient has a fair distribution and is fully decentralized the protocol uses the value it controls to maintain liquid secondary markets again right off the bat uh you can clearly see that the token is a, another token it's another stable coin it's not a very uh, unique uh, you know it doesn't bring any uniqueness in that particular functionality but the way it acts as a stable coin is that it tries to bring 
more capital efficiency and has extremely fair distribution amongst its holders and it can basically act as a uh, you know as it's a plat is a protocol that uses value it controls to maintain liquid secondary markets right so that's one of the main uh, unique features of the fay token and it's also obviously fully decentralized right you can read more about the fay token itself by clicking on the read the docs green icon at the bottom and if you go to tribe which is the to- main token of interest for us it is a governance token that manages the protocol tribe is governance ma- minimized for peg maintenance with an emphasis on upgrades and integrations join the discord community to learn more right so again uh, tribe is one of those tokens that doesn't really have a lot of unique use cases but it's just a governance token which you can use to govern the minimization uh, the the basically the maintenance of peg for the fay token and also uh, any form of maintenance with emphasis on the upgrades and in- integrations for the platform right and if you want to learn more about this platform or this project itself or this token itself you can access the discord community by clicking on the join our discord link here so here are the team members of the fay labs and again since uh, it is a project that is going to be you know listed on coinbase you can basically understand that this project even though it is not a very big revolution or it doesn't really offer a very unique value proposition compared to several other platforms it is still a very trustworthy project with a trustworthy team right so if you see the investors you can immediately notice that coinbase is an investor uh, so if you uh, you know if you are a long term follower of this channel you would know that any projects that have coinbase or binance labs as investors basically there's a high percentage that um, this pro- these projects would be listed on the respective exchanges that is has been invested in them right in this case coinbase has directly invested in this project and therefore it makes sense for them to list this token on their platform right and also because of the fact that coinbase is also a publicly traded company and since then they have been on a rapid fire mission to list as many tokens as they can uh in order to serve their us as well as uh, you know uh, world class client, clients right so again uh, apart from coinbase you also have some very popular names like anderson horowitz uh, buckley ventures uh, nascent framework and variant venture capitalists who have also invested in this platform right so if you go scroll to the bottom it's a very short website you can access their social information here uh, and i think that's pretty much it there's really nothing much to say let's quickly access their app so if you click on their go to app it will basically provide you with an access to their uh, actual dapp which you can use to again trade uh, and buy their own buy their stable coin you can connect it with metamask so fay tribe uniswap pool if you want to trade fay for tribe you must go to our uniswap pool and make sure to disable multi hop in the transaction settings again this is an information for people who want to buy uh, you know kind of like uh, uh, try, trade uh, uh, tribe for fay or vice versa you need to do these functionalities it's similar to uniswap it is a uh, platform that allows you to basically uh, you know buy their stable coin Uh, this is their genesis redeem genesis tokens which you can easily redeem uh, if you had been a participant of this platform early enough you can exchange basically being the uniswap version of uh, you know the this platform and if you click stake you can stake uh, lp tokens uh, fay tribe lp tokens in order to earn tribe tokens on a regular basis the apr is pretty high it's 107.82 at the time i make this video uh, and if you see how tribe earnings work if you want to learn more about staking rewards you can click the link here when you stake your pool tokens you are improving the liquidity between tribe and fay and uh, since one is a stable coin one is not you suffer from impermanent loss and have to mitigate impermanent loss they are basically providing you with tribe tokens as an incentive right you can claim you can withdraw and so on and so forth right so click if you click redeem you can see uh, you basically have um, 
uh, an opportunity to redeem ETH. So if you see redeem your fee for $0.95 as per FIP2. So again, if you want to redeem ETH, you know, by providing fee, then you can do that as well. So you can earn 95 cents of, uh, you know, in ETH by providing fee, right? So you can use your fee to earn ETH if you want to redeem it back, right? But if you see, you only get 95 cents worth of ETH and currently they have 9,987 ETH uh, with a total of 174,000 ETH, right? So this is also something that if you guys passively earned fee by other means, uh, you can use it to redeem ETH, which is also, uh, which is one of the most valuable cryptocurrencies out there, right? So overall, that's pretty much it. I don't really have a lot to say about this project itself. It's a very, uh, you know, not a very, uh, you know, well-known or very reputed project. Uh, I'm not saying it's not a reputed project. I'm saying that it's not a well, well-versed well project in the crypto space, but they still got listed nonetheless by Coinbase. Uh, one of the main reasons was because Coinbase themselves invested in this project, right? So going to the current market cap page, you can clearly see that uh, the token is currently ranked 246th by market cap on Coin Market Cap, and is currently trading at 80 cents per token. And after the news of a potential of a, the Coinbase listing, you have a potential increase in the uh, price point and it's about 20% up already, right? So this is uh, basically something that you need to watch out for. Uh, I personally am not really impressed with this project and I don't really see any value proposition that's very unique. Since I've covered a lot of tokens and projects and I'm in the crypto space for quite some time, I really want to see projects that are really innovative or do something extremely well. And, uh, you know, we covered a project like Impossible Finance yesterday and that project seemed to be much more promising and I was really interested in that. But this project doesn't seem to be interesting, interesting me at the moment. But if you guys feel like it's a project that you want to invest in, then uh, I suggest you to not invest in this token at this time because you're already uh, buying it at a 20% premium, right? Uh, also not financial advice. I'm, I'll highly recommend you guys to like hold off on purchasing this, this token if you guys feel like it's a good token to buy it as well right so if you see the market cap it's already 201 million dollar in market cap which is again uh, quite a decent bit of market cap and the tokens that we cover usually in our channel are less than you know 50 or even 100 million dollars in market cap but there are some tokens that uh, are 200 million dollars or more in market caps but at the same time despite being a project that's not necessarily like that popular in the crypto space the token still managed to make a a $200 million market cap at the time of this video and it's only going to rise immediately after the Coinbase listing as well, right? So if you see the max supply, the token has 1 billion tokens in uh, as a max supply, which is a number that I'm not really a big fan of. And amongst it, there's only 25% of the token in circulation, right? So again, even the tokenomics are not really impressive. In fact, I like tokens that have a max supply of less than 100 million tokens. But here you can clearly see that the token is obviously like uh, you know, highly inflatory, and since they're providing like uh, rewards for people who provide liquidity, I can only imagine that this token will get dumped into the market pretty soon. And since the circulating supply is relatively low compared to the max supply, I'm pretty sure that the token will have a lot of price lumping in the short term. Uh, and again, there may be occasional peaks, but I don't think it's going to be extremely high, right? Even after the Coinbase listing. So if you go to the charts, you can clearly see that the token has pretty much been on a downward trajectory until recently. Uh, the information with this token is available since April 3rd of 2021 this year. And you can clearly see that the token was initially worth $2 uh, at the time. And then it immediately dropped uh, to like $1.36. And then it dropped even further. And then it was trying to recover early May, but then since then it's been having a very, uh, you know, all-time lows. It's pretty much at its all-time lows, close to its all-time lows. But you can clearly see that the, due to the Coinbase listing, uh, I think, uh, or due to insider trading, there's a there's a peak from nowhere that's coming in, and the token seems to be like slowly going to the upward trajectory, right? I would probably suggest if you guys want to buy this token, you can wait because this token obviously hasn't made a proper all-time highs yet. And I don't think like there will be a lot of interest from retail investors like myself to buy this token. So I don't know if this token will even have a proper all-time high anytime soon. Uh, maybe after the Coinbase listing, this, pop, this token may have a de decent pump. 
but I think it's going to dump soon uh, immediately after the Coinbase listing because people will start moving on to another token, right? So with a lo- lot of like, you know, with only governance as its main functionality, I don't think this token is going to go anywhere personally, but I could be wrong, right? But if you want to buy this token, I personally feel like you have to hold off on this because it's already up 20%, right? And maybe this token will definitely come back down. Uh, after the Coinbase listing and that will be something that if you want to buy at the price point that will be a good price point to buy uh, if you decide to buy this token in the first place right so going to the Bitcoin compared to you can clearly see that the token hasn't really been doing a lot better either on the Bitcoin compared to if you see the token price was initially worth uh, about 3,700 Satoshis per token but since then the token has been quite volatile but at the same time overall it has been going the downward traje- uh, trajectory and you can clearly see that it made its all-time lows only a few weeks before uh, to be specific it only made its it made its uh, all-time low very recently of about 61 cents in the dollar compared to and uh, 1400 satoshis in the bitcoin compared to and now the token is currently trading at 1700 satoshis or 1700 satoshis per token right i would probably hold off on this token a bit even in the bitcoin comparative as well because again i feel like at this, at this uh, you know, rate, I think this token is probably going to make new all-time lows more than new all-time highs, right? And you don't really want to invest, uh, you know, your satoshis uh, on tokens like these, which may not necessarily pump or even have a value proposition, right? So that's just my verdict. But again, if you want to do your own research and invest in this token, then it's up to you, right? But uh, this price point is not a good price point to buy, right? If you take the markets where it's available at, this token is currently available, obviously, on Uniswap because it's an uh, ERC20 token. You can also get it from Gay.io, which, again, is a relatively okay-ish exchange. Uh, It's a tier 2 or tier 3 exchange. But if you want to get it from Uniswap V3 or Dodo exchange, as well as 1inch, then you have lots of decentralized exchange options from which you can buy, right? But apart from that, I wouldn't recommend you go, go going to other, you know, tier 3 or tier 4 exchanges which are not really popular to buy this token because I don't think this token is really worth, uh, you know, much in the first place. That's just my personal opinion, right? So what's my final verdict on this token, guys? I don't really see a lot of exciting, uh, you know, information about this project. I feel like this project is just another governance token. Again, if this platform becomes successful, which I don't really think so, uh, since we already have a lot of stable coins and stable, stable coin regulations are going to be very strict, uh, you know this to- this platform just being a stable coin generating platform is not going to do any much. Uh, I don't really think that the tribe's governance uh, feature is going to attract a lot of people. People are just going to you know buy tribe and fay and then deposit new swap, get the passive income and then dump the tribe tokens on the market. That's basically what is going to happen because there's a lot more exciting projects and every single day we get new, new exciting projects that try to do extremely cool and innovative things in the crypto space and maybe even try try to change the financial ecosystem permanently. And amongst those tokens, I think this token is just a lackluster token with, you know, very poor tokenomics and also, you know, the main reason probably why it's getting listed on Coinbase is because it Coinbase invested in the first place, which I don't really know why. So I'm not really positive about this token. I personally won't invest in this token. And I, uh, uh, even though I'm not a financial advisor, I probably may not suggest anyone to invest in this token. There are lots of highly motivating, highly like, you know, uh, fundamentally strong tokens with extremely good tokenomics, like the one that we covered yesterday. But this token may not necessarily be uh, on everyone's list but if you personally want to buy this token after doing your own research then by all means go ahead i don't really see the price of this token reaching uh, you know maybe it will may probably go close to a dollar but i don't think it'll reach a dollar uh, if it crosses the dollar then i don't think it'll stay at that price point for too long because it'll probably break below the dollar mark and go somewhere between you know, 70 to 80 cents range right but overall, in the long term, this token may potentially survive, uh, again, depending on what kind of innovative things they're planning to do or how much they're planning to develop this platform. It depends on the survivability of this platform or even the relevance of this platform itself, right? I'd probably say that the long term price prediction may be like maximum of $2, but not more than that. If there is innovation and constant, you know, 
uh, interest from the retail investors which i personally don't see going going to come for this platform anytime soon right again remember guys you guys are not regular investors you guys are brutal investors so stay brutal thank you everyone for watching my video guys if you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos see you in my next video bye